to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this demon. No, sir, I can't. Would you do give that. me one minute? Courtroom is a place for order and justice. But what happens when victims decide to take justice into their own hands? Can't Would you give that. me one minute? I you know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system well, works. <laughs> Here are seven of the most horrifying courtroom attacks caught on camera. We're now in Muskegon County Courthouse, and this is Vashon Flowers, who's on trial for killing his pregnant wife, Jamie Thomas Flowers, after an argument over his smoking addiction. However, just when the hearing was about to start, Jamie Thomas Flowers' son lost control of himself. He wrestled with several court officials before he was overpowered and was escorted in handcuffs. Vashon Flowers ended up being sentenced to life in prison for first-degree premeditated murder. It was an emotional day in 2016 when the serial child molester Larry Nasser was finally put on trial for sexually assaulting at least 265 young women and girls. One by one, the victims spoke about the damage Nasser had done to them. And she said, he hurt me in um, 2009. She took her own life. However, for this distraught father, words were not enough. I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. I have would a feeling. Would you do that? I, I, that is not how yes our. He asked the judge if she could grant him alone time with the demon. The judge declined, however. What happened next shocked everyone. The court officers were able to stop him before he could lay his hands on the suspect. As for Larry Nasser, he was later punished with life imprisonment without parole. In 2019, Lindy Jones was on trial for killing 18-year-old Willie Fields. However, while the victim's mother was addressing the court, They took away my only child. My only child. Her husband couldn't hold his emotions any longer. Mr. Fields was able to land a hard punch on the back of the suspect's neck before he was dragged out by officers. Lindy Jones was charged with murder, while his brother, Jalen Jones, was also charged as an accessory for the crime. On July 22, 2013, Michael Madison was held on trial for the murder of three women who he had tortured, mutilated, strangled, and raped. As one of the victim's fathers, Van Terry, stepped onto the podium to address the court. Right now, I guess we're supposed to, in our hearts, forgive this clown. We've touched our families, taken my child. He paused for a moment, only to see Madison smiling back at him. And that's when he snapped. The officers managed to stop Terry before he could reach Madison, who can be seen grinning as he watches his victim's father break down in court. Fortunately, justice was served as the Ohio Supreme Court gave Madison the death sentence on July 21st, 2020. The air was thick with tension in June 2017, as Dale Williams confessed to stalking and murdering his ex-girlfriend, Elizabeth Pledger Stewart. However, it wasn't until Elizabeth's family gave their victim impact statements when all hell broke loose. The officers desperately tried to drag Williams out of the conflict as Elizabeth's two sons lunge at him. The fight got so intense that officers had no choice but to hit one of the men involved with a taser. The hearing was rescheduled, and Elizabeth's two sons ended up being arrested. Dale Williams, on the other hand, was sentenced to 23 years to life in prison in the preceding court hearings. In 2011, Zadarius Platt pleaded not guilty for the murder of his pregnant wife, Jelani Platt. However, his victim's reaction seemed to paint a different picture. Overwhelmed with grief, the victim's brother, Gerald Carter, grabbed a chair and threw it at the suspect. He wrestled with the court officers and screamed at them, demanding them to kill the suspect. Platt was sentenced to two consecutive life sentences, plus five years in prison for killing Jelani Platt and her unborn child. In 2022, 19-year-old Frank DeLeon pleaded guilty for the murder of 16-year-old Diamond Alvarez after shooting her nearly two dozen times while she was walking her dog. Her family heard the gunshots. So I called my daughter and she didn't answer. This is Diamond's mother, Anna Machado. Right there and then our dog came in by himself and that's not normal. I came running and my son found her. I tried so hard to keep her alive. The court hearing started out normally. However, things quickly changed when Anna Machado finished her victim statement. She walked towards De Leon but was stopped before she could reach the murderer. And this is when things got out of hand. Suddenly, Alvarez's uncle rushed towards De Leon. He was quickly restrained when suddenly, De Leon's mother charged towards Alvarez's mother, shoving her to the ground. Fortunately, the bailiffs were able to stop the fights before they got even worse. As for the murderer, Frank De Leon, he ended up being charged with a 45-year sentence. 
We're now in Jefferson County District Court, where we can see the murderer, Paul Wade, speaking to the judge while the grieving family of the two people he shot sat behind him. It was a peaceful courtroom hearing until the entire family erupted and wasted no time to attack Wade after hearing his insult. The officers lost control of the situation as the entire family went after Wade, who was running for his life. While the judge helplessly yelled for help, the deputies ended up pepper spraying two people and arrested four of the family members involved for misdemeanor, while Paul Wade was charged with two counts of murder. In 2022, white supremacist Peyton Grendon committed a massacre where he ended up killing 10 black people in broad daylight. He was quickly arrested after committing the heinous crime, but the damage he caused can never be undone. And finally, after almost a year of waiting, his sentencing was finally being held and with it came the overflow of his victim's emotions. One by one, his victims addressed the court while he just blankly stared at them and even tried coming up with an insincere apology to gain sympathy. I did a terrible thing that day. I shot and killed people because they were black. But the pain and damage he caused was too much and he was lucky the speakers were able to control themselves. However, the same can't be said for one of his victims. In a fit of rage, one of his victims lunged at him but was quickly restrained by the guards while Grendon was escorted out of the courtroom. Fortunately, justice had been served for this case. In February 15th, 2023, Grendon was sentenced to 11 consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole.